Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a zero waste haul and I'm also going to be doing a little bit of a sustainability chat at the end of the video. I talked about this in my dorm haul, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. I just mentioned that I had this bag of zero waste stuff that applied to my dorm, but that I was going to be doing a separate video for it. I have my iced chai tea latte here, so you want to grab a drink? Clink, clink. Let's have a drink. <laughs> I mean, that's really all I have to say. I got this stuff from a local zero waste shop actually a couple weeks ago. I actually filmed the dorm hall probably two weeks ago now. I did film this video on that day, but I felt too constricted. This is my little chill chats corner, so that's why we're here because it's just chill. If y'all want to see what I got from this zero waste shop for my dorm, then just keep watching. I have it all in this like spread positivity canvas bag. I'm not going to go in any particular order. This shop you can go and fill up containers you have and they also have containers that you can buy. It's relatively inexpensive. I'm not going to say the name of it just because then you know where I live. But if you figure it out then whatever. The first thing I'm going to pull out is this Swedish dish cloth. And I haven't used it yet just because I want to break it in in my dorm. So apparently this is supposed to replace like a bunch of paper towels. And it's like this super cute leaf print and I can use this to clean up spill or I can use it just to clean with my all-purpose cleaner that I got in like an old face spray bottle that I wasn't using anymore. I have this all-purpose cleaner. They sell like a concentrate and then they also sell the diluted version. I just went ahead and got the diluted version because I didn't bring a container for the concentrate. And I'm going to be living in a dorm so I feel like I'm not going to be cleaning that much. And if I am, then it's not going to be that much of a surface area. This is also compostable at the end of its life. So then I got a face slash body lotion. I just got this in an old blush container. I was tempted to just go and get like all cute containers but that's not what this lifestyle is about i had to talk myself into it i haven't really used any of this just because i'm trying to use up what i have right now and i know that if i start using this stuff then i'm going to want to just use this and then i'm not going to use up what i have previously and that's what this lifestyle is about just using what you already have so this is like a really interesting texture and it's scent free which i like i would have never considered to use this like as a face lotion but it's like scentless at first i thought it was going to smell like mangoes because it's like mango and shea butter but i really just smell shea butter which i don't really like the smell of but it's really fine right now i'm using Using, like Lush's charity pot for my body moisturizer. I'm hoping once I get through this big tub then I'll start using this and see if I like it. Then I'll just go get a refill of the body lotion in this and then it's packaging free but then I'll also have this little one for when I travel. I've used it a few times and I did like it but I'll have to play around with that some more. And then I got laundry balls. So I really liked how they had their wool laundry balls. They sold them individually. I think they were like three or four dollars each and I really like that. A lot of them come in packs of four and I just feel like I'm not gonna use those. At least right now, I'm not gonna use all four of them for the laundry I'll be doing for my dorm. So yeah. <laughs> and then to go with those, I have this laundry powder. And once again, I was tempted to get it in a cute jar but also like their jars are glass for this they would sell aluminum or glass bottles for each of their things but i really didn't want to have a glass jar for my laundry powder and i had this peanut butter jar left over so i am reusing it because that's what this lifestyle is about girl it's nelly's laundry powder it's really heavy and it only takes a tablespoon of this and i really want to go to like the thrift store and find a tablespoon and a teaspoon because i need a tablespoon for this and i need a teaspoon for my matcha so but i'm very excited about this my little zero waste laundry routine and also to go with that i have this old mario badescu spray bottle it has what's it called a stain remover that's what this is i'm hoping that all this stuff works and then i really like it one of the things that i had to get a package for was the dish soap i got this in an aluminum bottle and they have like this size and then they had like a giant size but i know i'm not gonna be doing too many dishes in my dorm maybe i will be i really don't want to be buying dawn i've literally used dawn my whole life and i'm trying to make that switch now but i got the aluminum so that i wouldn't have glass in it like break because we can't be having that and then i also got a face body hair oil which i'm very excited about because i'm trying to get through my little last leg of this elf oil i really just want to start using this and then once i get through my hair oil i'm going to use this for like my face and my hair oil i'm hoping to just use this as my moisturizer like once i go through all my moisturizers i'm just going to use this only i'm really just trying to minimalize and lower my waist as well i've used it a few times and it's so much more moisturizing than the elf oil i'm just really trying to get through it guys then i got this and i'm very excited about this because i didn't fully intend to get one of these because on their website it said that they were 24 dollars. it's like the same ones that are on earth hero and 
package free shop like how they have like all those different sizes there's only one of these and then there was like all those other ones and i was like what's the difference between these because this one was 13 dollars and the other one that was this size was 24 dollars and she was like oh well this one has this little divider and it's insulated and the other one is just like a steel tiffin and i was like but this one's 11 dollars cheaper okay i will take that one then why um this one was cheaper because it had more things to it i'm excited to put this in my little zero waste on the go kit because i really want to start not getting to go boxes i never finish my food when i go to restaurants but like you have to ask for a to-go box it's already an opportunity right there for you to bring your own container and i know i could literally just have a plastic tupperware in my thing but after seeing that this was insulated and had two layers i was like girl i gotta get it and then the last thing I got was this canvas pouch but what I put in it I will show you as well because it's also zero waste so I have my metal straw that I've had for forever that I normally just keep in the dash of my car I have a little utensil set that I thrifted you see people buying like these cutlery sets that are bamboo but I don't really want something that's bamboo and this is a pretty sharp knife so I feel like I could definitely cut something with this I've already used this spoon plenty of times because I've used it for like a smoothie bowl and then I used it for what was it like frozen eyes I don't know I kind of get some judgments when I pull these out because they're like Allie why don't you just use the plastic one I'm like why would I use the plastic one when you literally use it for like a few minutes and then it's in the landfill forever but whatever it's fine so yeah I'm really excited about this because those utensils were like 50 cents each and they're just so vintage looking I just love it then this was the thing I just saw on there that I forgot about. This is a collapsible metal straw with a travel case. So it looks like this and it literally pulls out like a telescope. Honestly, I'm just gonna go get it. I can't. So here it is. This is how it goes on your keychain. It also says zero waste club on it. How cute is that? I put washi tape on it, just one piece right here and then wrapped it along the bottom because those are like the two openings. The first few times that I was carrying it, I was walking into Publix and I just hear this jingle jangle on the ground. It had fallen off because it just like gradually kept unscrewing once it was like bouncing on my keychain. So you pull it out like this and then you pull it out, boom, you have yourself a straw. I haven't actually used it yet just because this is going to be kind of like for emergencies. It shouldn't ever be an emergency because if it's an emergency, I'll just use a stinking plastic straw. But this is going to be more of like those situations because I'll have this straw, but like this will be one that's actually with me all the time because I'm always going to have my keys with me. This is so good. Mm. Chef's kiss. Okay, and then also, this I did not get from the Zero Shop, obviously. I got it from Native. If y'all watched any of my videos, like, for a long time, I used to use Native deodorant. This was the first natural deodorant I used, but they've always been in a plastic packaging. And all of the deodorants I've ever had have always been in a plastic packaging. But they came out with a plastic-free version. You have to, like, push it up and, like, hold it with your finger up there whenever you're putting it on because it will always just like press down but i'm used to that because my chapstick is like that so we love that the cucumber and mint one is just so much oh my goodness it smells so good it smells just like the deodorant i used to use so i was watching megan hughes video and she had like a discount code with them and it was like nine dollars basically and it was free shipping i'm still using my zion health clay dry deodorant this one has been a really nice like switch up i've used it a few times just like if i showered at like 6 p.m and then i was going somewhere then i'd wear this but like i haven't really worn it as an all-day thing yet just because i'm not really trusting her like that yet i'm hoping that like in the fall winter time this will be my go-to because it just smells so much better than this this is just like charcoal this one is like an actual like good fresh smell and it's like so much creamier like it feels so nice on my armpits because that one is like so thick i know this is a side note now i can finally not that these are gonna move really because they won't move until i move into my dorm but i'm very excited that i finally got to film this video and this video is not over so you best not think it is because i still got my chat to do so we done with her now for the talk i don't even have any points to talk on i'm just gonna sit here and hope i know what i'm talking about so this is this is piggybacking off of what I was talking about in like my food vlog and also in my dorm hall. If you haven't seen either of those, click up in those cards, girl, and go watch them. Or boy, you can watch my videos if you're a boy. I would actually very appreciate that. Just kidding. Not really. I'm going to reiterate what I said in those videos, but also keep going off of it. If you watch my dorm hall, there's a lot of things that I got secondhand, that I got from return stores, that I got just passed down to me. But there was also a lot of things that I bought new. None of those new things were from sustainable sources. I just wanted to kind of talk about like a balance of starting a low waste 
lifestyle or a more sustainable lifestyle. So ever since I've become more educated about this, I just can't see it any differently. Like I can't unlearn what I've learned, if that makes sense. I can't just go to Target and like get all these things that I don't need because that's not in me anymore, which is crazy because I love Target. I went the other day and just walked around. I would be going to the dollar spot. I would be going to the home decor, to the cute clothes, but I did not even put myself in that situation because that would have been bad. But I occasionally do go just because like, if I need something, might as well just go to Target so I can say hello. <laughs> That's besides the point. I'm saying low waste lifestyle because it's impossible to do zero waste. Not impossible, but I will never be zero waste. I'm just really trying to lower my waste and live more sustainably in all my purchases. So I have just made a decision that I am going to just be the most balanced that I can. Like I'm not gonna be like, I can't get towels unless I buy them from a sustainable brand, a super expensive brand. So with the towels, obviously you have to dry yourself off with something. It's not like people are gonna use paper towels for their body, but those towels are gonna last me a long time. When I look into a purchase now, I assess the whole lifespan. When I buy it, what am I gonna use it with? When will I be done with it? And when I'm done with it, like where will it go? With my towels, like I bought them because I need them and I know that they will last me a long time and they're gray. So I can always get more towels that match that when I get an actual house. And those can last me a long time Time. And when they're at the end of the lifetime, it will probably be the end of my lifetime. I don't know. I, we've never like thrown towels in the trash. None of our towels match. They're just like random mix match. So it's not like they'd be thrown away. Not in my household at least. That's the whole lifespan. But then compared to how I was talking about like a twin comforter, I would get that twin comforter. I buy it new support an unsustainable business. If I'm just living in a dorm for a year or two, I have it for a year or two, then what do I do after it? Maybe give it to Goodwill and it might get sold, it might get in a landfill, but if I get a blanket that's a twin or a full or whatever, once I'm done using it for a bed spread, then I still have that for a blanket that I can use for a long time. And when it finally rips apart or something, then I don't know what I would do then, honestly, but I just know that it's a lot more long lasting than that comforter that's only gonna fit one certain bed for that certain period of time. That's the thesis. And then there were some things that weren't the stinging candle warmer. That's really not sustainable at all because candles, I know the candles that I have are full of synthetic fragrances. But the other side of that is that I want to use those candles, but the only place I'm gonna be able to use them is where I'm living, which is gonna be my dorm, which I can't light those candles then. And I have so many candles from whenever I loved candles. That's just the bigger picture. That item is like helping me use up other things. And then when those candles are done, I wash out the jars and I normally will keep the wax just because now that I'm gonna have that candle warmer, I can put like an empty jar with like all the leftover wax. Even after it has that little bit that the wick won't light after, it's still gonna melt that. So that's actually very good. When I'm done with candles finally, I can use it as like a little, if my mug is cold. Or I could give it away to someone who does like candles or a teacher because I know teachers like candles, but you can't light them. I'm just talking about a lot of, a lot of things. I did get a MacBook Pro new. App was not sustainable. I know that. I know that that was a long-term investment because it's hopefully gonna last me a long time. And then with my phone recently, I've been really wanting to upgrade my phone. Then I watched a video and she was saying, I won't upgrade my phone until like it's actually dead. And I was like, thank you girl, I needed that. Sting and smack that sensibility right in me. I was just letting consumerism get in my head. Even though I have an iPhone 6S and like the newest iPhone is past 11, I'm pretty sure. My phone is working just fine. Yeah, it might have a little hiccups here and there. It's fine. The most sustainable thing to do is to use what you have until it doesn't work anymore and then that's when you move on it's the most sustainable thing and also is the most money saving thing so really like the eco-conscious minimalistic lifestyle is less expensive than the consumeristic unsustainable lifestyle so wow this is a lot now that i have been educated about this stuff like i can't un learn it like I was saying in the beginning. When people talk about how cheap Forever 21 is, how cheap this is, why wouldn't you buy this? Because it's cheaper. But I'm like, in reality, that's not gonna last you long. I don't purchase from fast fashion brands anymore, but I do still wear them. And when I wear them, I'm like, ooh, this is so cute, but I know I wouldn't buy this again, but 
I wear my clothes out. All of my clothes pretty much get worn and if they don't, then I'll realize that and then I'll sing and give them to Goodwill, which I know isn't the best option, but that's pretty much all I have around me is Goodwill. I mean, I probably do. I really need to just look into that. Man, this is really good to talk about. When I talk about it with my friends as well, they'll be like, why don't you just use a plastic fork? Or why don't you just use a plastic straw? Like it's so much easier. Or why do you feel like you can't buy that? Something like that, whatever, whatever it is. I get to explain it to them, but also I really try and make sure that I don't get harsh and like, why wouldn't you know that? You know, because I didn't know that. And I used to just go around Target and get whatever I wanted and didn't even need it. And yeah, I still wear that stuff and I still love that stuff, but yeah. It's definitely a more difficult lifestyle, but it's doable. In the end, it's more beneficial for your own happiness, for your financial situation, for the planet. It's just an all around beneficial lifestyle because you're not spending money on things you don't need because I literally think out every purchase that I make now. I didn't used to do that. Now, the things that I've bought and since, I know what they are. It's not a lot. I really don't buy much of anything anymore except for like all the stuff from my dorm. That's my TED talk on sustainability, compromises, and Balance. You can live this lifestyle and not be perfect. One of the zero waste YouTubers I watch, Shell Bizzle here on YouTube, she always says, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. That just hits home every time she says that. Us as a one person, we cannot do everything that the world, that the earth, that the environment needs us to do, but every little bit that we do, it needs. Every little bit that we do does count and it adds up. I'll just leave that with you. And if this encouraged you a little bit to just shop secondhand, be looking at more sustainable things, just think out your purchases, honestly. Even if you don't shop secondhand or even if you don't buy from the more expensive sustainable brands, just really think about every purchase you make from the beginning of its life to the end. Yeah. That was my zero waste haul and sustainability chat. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you want to see more sustainable videos, then just let me know. I really want to do my zero waste swaps, like things that in my life that I have made a change in. And I also want to do places that I'm still wasteful. I want this to be a place where I encourage people to be more sustainable, but also to encourage them that you don't have to be perfect. We're not all going to be 100% zero waste and 100% sustainable. Like there are places where you make compromise and you do have balance and yeah so if y'all want to see any of the videos that i talked about or if you have any videos you want to see from me just please let me know down below if y'all did enjoy the video i would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up it would really mean a lot to me thank you so much for watching bye and you best stay tuned for those college videos girl